and purple frog. Purple frog. Pur purple is a good color. It is a good color. Ooh, I'm not biased at all. We're not biased at yeah, all. Not, not at all. Okay. <laughs> this is lavender. <laughs> this is uh, Welch's grape. <laughs> I don't actually don't shade this one as... But either way, we got our frog on frog time, and it's starting on Jules Vale, and... This could either be an absolute mash fest, or it could be needle camping in 4K. Like, <laughs> this really can just go from they're going to swing constantly and rack up as much damage as possible to turning the dial all the way back and just going for that projectile pressure, waiting for that opening. Right now, it seems like it's more of a of a passive-aggressive type of approach from Lucius, while Durai is just trying to get out of this situation, more or less. But he does so with gusto with that falling there. That strike just barely uh -huh. didn't reach. That sucks. <laughs> he was so close. Oh, Durai trying to find this reversal, but he's got to deal with a bubble. Oh, but he di over his bubble! No! Terrifying. Just the... The situational awareness from Durai, uh, as shown off in the Tapscott set earlier, was just amazing. But you cannot let uh, you can't let anybody do that for free. Yeah. Just the single hit up special, very That's interesting. Worth so many fares, so many fares coming out from Durai just to guarantee the stage control. Oh, and that's a ton of damage, including full stacks into a bubble. This is huge damage. And, oh, no upbeat finisher was just a little bit too, uh, a little, little bit too much. It's still so much damage. Oh, yeah, while he Durai took him from like, like 30 to 120 now. <laughs> Single needle. Yeah, just one. Nova gets the, gets the Dacus, and these back airs that a hit stun from both parties have been... Uh, MVP, for sure. MVP, most valuable <laughs> button. <laughs> Alright, dive kick for a safe landing, but unfortunately not safe enough. Getting caught on that ledge is disaster. As we see ourselves go to tie it stocks. Coming after him. After, for that Dacus. Missing the, uh, the tongue, though. Wow, what a heck on the part of Durai. That was so huge in order to get out of a well, one sticky spot, but good on Lucius to continue the advantage and put him into an, uh, another one. Uh-oh. Is that no jump? I think that is. All right, hold on. What do we got? We got a bubble. We got a side beam. No bubble with the pop from the needle. Oh, wow. Now that is some... Now that's some ninja stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> that was super sick. So jump was exhausted as we saw. We see the bubble get summoned. Wall jump, pop the bubble. You do not get your side B. Good day. See you in game two. We're going right, right on to back. It. Summer Rano overtakes Purple Rano, but yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if this was the stage unless they choose to go a meme pick and like, hey, we're going to Tempest, or because I know Durai really likes Tempest. Tempest is definitely the the stage for like high octane memes, or you never speak of that stage. It's one or the other, but that is rough. Yo, a little bit of the the sportsmanship landing, a little bit of some hyper crouching, perhaps from Durant. Very curious to see how this leads uh, us through game two. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to get hyper wall rolled out here because Rano is do. Oh, Lucius is doing his own hyper aggression and gets the immediate parry off the after the drop from Halo. It's a huge, uh, potentially momentum swing from Lucius. All right, not looking to let go of this lead, however, trying to reposition with the uh, charge cancel. I like it a lot, but. Lucius is taking this inch, going for the mile while controlling the platform, wrecking up all this damage. Oh, miss the dash attack as, I mean, a, a couple whiff dash attacks, but we got some forward airs. <laughs> they play leapfrog. <laughs> and one, two, and one, two with the back air. Uh, Whose oh! back air is it going to be? It's going to be Lucius as he takes the lead. Just Rano things. Just we're same wavelength, a different outcome. As a Durai is now finds himself in behind the eight ball once after a pretty crucial SD from Lucius. Just, uh, dissuading the oh, wow, the swiftest wow. up air one into up special uh, uh, up strong rather. Okay, I like how Durai is not trying to play Lucius game. Lucius is doing a lot of platform movement, while Durai has been much more keen on playing underneath the platform and jumping on and through it. 
Oh, but now we get to see what happens with this, uh, what happens on this war of the platform. And no, he has his jump just barely and chooses to recover a low clean stuff from Mutarai just to keep to keep himself alive. But for how much longer? Oh, Lucius has that clock in his head. <laughs> Just missing the up tilt, and that may prove to be death if uh, if Lucius can finish off this stock. Gets full, an awkward hit of forward air. Just missing the needle. One, two, but the wave line back on keeps them safe and keeps the uh, keeps the right open for getting a 2-0 lead in this set. Just trying to find the mark with this neutral air, but it's sent to the strangest of angles. He should still be coming back just fine, but... Oh, five ability from both of these two, but he gets a slingshot in there. Has to use a ton of resources. Doesn't go for the dive kick. And the turnaround back here with the swiftness from Lucius. All right. And I caught that. I caught that at the very end. We had a little bit of team back from Lucius, too. Get to All see, right. We get to see the very end of this book. Gets the back air here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah Good okay. four. Excellent four. The nuts <laughs> never leave the floor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Different layout, same type of vibe. We're here with Taps 5 with some froggy. These are colorful frog. frogs, man. You know they gotta be toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Floor's Floor, though, is definitely going to uh, enable a lot of this more hyperactive play that we see from both of them. Oh, yeah. Like, the needles just leading into stuff is going to be huge with this because those platforms sit so low. And there's just not a lot of active space in spite of the platforms being there. This does make a lot of sense for Dorai to prioritize because as we saw in some previous sets, uh, Ronald Baines really enjoy Dude. dive kick. They really <laughs> enjoy dive kick for all of its applications. <laughs> it's From like a mile away though? From downtown even. It gets the sweat bike hit of fair as well. Has to use so much to recover, but Lucius decides not to challenge. The fact, he's taking those tippy toes back. He is making damn sure that he stays at a spacing where he's comfortable tossing needles and comfortable being able to burst in, whether it's with dash attack or feigning for something different. The short hop fares and the down tilts have been working out wondrously for Lucius, but now he's caught in a sticky situation. Will he be able to come back or just try take the lead? Up getting absorbed in the bubble, but he already had used uh, wall, already used his wall jumps. So all that Darai needed to do was just interrupt what was happening down there. And, and Rano's got the movement. So long as he's close sure. to that wall, he can do a lot off stage without committing too heavily. Seems to be the the modus operandi for M Rano and many of his compatriots. It's how how low commitment of a button can I land, and how far can I take it. Couple dash attacks and a forward air to meet the damage, and we are still going to be moving about with these needles. Single hit needles. Forward aerial! All over. A needle pop of his own! Backed oh. up. <laughs> Turned around. And it all starts It all starts for Lucius, especially off stage, with just these single needle pops. It's like, you're going to get, you're going to be forced to recover lower and lower and lower. The parry down strong will do it. But Dorai will not stand for getting twerked on, though. We have this no. even game, and it is just picking up in action as well. Yeah, one to one in this set, and it could, this could spell a huge progression of the remainder of the set. We got to go to, but Dorai tries to get more and more back airs. The charged up needles lead to so much. Trading right. a couple up specials, but he was in frame advantage. Goes for that sour hit of forward air. All right, we're moving around a little bit. We're moving far out, Ooh. but it's a bad call from Lucius's back here manages to confirm it. And the pendulum swings in favor of Darai. Just trying to get far enough away so that Darai couldn't get out there, but after using the double jump, finds the wall jump needle cancel into back air. It's like, where are you going? Get over here. All right, we're just continuing to turn the ante up as we uh -oh. move on to Spirit Tree for game four. All right, so wall shenanigans that you just saw, plentiful. Now those platforms that sit low to the stage are hanging off the stage, which could lead into huge extensions for Rano. But it'll be dependent on how you use it as Darai opens up with a pretty solid combo of his own as Lucius looks for a starter. That Nair didn't do it, but that falling fair could have been something crazy. Instead, Darai only takes a single hits and is able to get in and out of dodge super quickly. 
play that hit and run. It's what keeps things safe when you see your opponent trying to play at a distance. And Lucius is very comfortable at playing at this distance and has been showcasing that throughout the set. A missed wave land stops the uh, the tongue combo at just one back air. Ooh, but a yucky hit from forward air. A couple of needle strikes. Wow, he used he took a gambit there despite being so low. He decided to go for the the tongue sling off the bubble. Gets Good the tech, tech two. All right, Perry that should down. be a down strong. Yeah. The, the Rano Perry punish. Just keep it simple, keep it fresh, and it's a move you don't see a lot to boot. Simple works. Simple is effective. Simple is effective. Dacus is as simple as uh, bread and butter as you get for Rano in some regard. On top of these back airs, as you look for forward air instead from Dorai, though. Yo, the tiniest of hits close in from just the single needle. I think that was brilliant for Lucius to not commit too hard to a button. Because one thing that's been consistent for both Dorai and Lucius is that the burst range for Rano is a bit too wide to actually use one of your good function oh, buttons. he misjudged it. He threw the bubble oh, too high. That's huge, Ubal. It, for sure. I mean, look at the stock count. And on Spirit Tree is not a forgiving stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, the intercept in order to force him into the bubble. But, man, these counter hits from both parties. It's been... Like, when one of us is interacting, it's both of our turns simultaneously. Just it matters of who gets it first and who gets it more often. Oh, Darai with a huge combo and trying to extend it. Not going for the fourth strong, instead just looking for no bubble. He already had his bubble and he wasn't able to reposition it. Dude, neutral is actually a quick time event with these characters. This is actually spooky. Maybe pressing the A button in the proper timings, but not able to get to there. Lucius wasn't able to use that invincibility to his advantage. Instead, Mandarai is just floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. Oh! I thought that was Has a to forward be down. Air. Has to use it to rise, but... That's a forward air! And you heard the crowd there, too. Yo. Force back into the bubble, then commit to the finisher. Don't let this go, don't let this game extend longer. The fake out with the forward air there, mispositioning Durai in his recovery. Like, watch this. You thought a button was coming there. No, sir. The, just these little feints. The scariest button that it comes with a character with fast frame data is the one that doesn't come at all spookiness as we end off the set on gates for game five of the Rano Ditto for determining this top eight qualifier. This has been a hell of a set and you could just feel the pressure in the air from both of these competitors. They want this one so bad. Oh yeah, we've had quite a ride here with these two and... The yeah, ride's not over yet. Yeah. We still got three stocks apiece to go through. No, oh, not a dash attack from either side, but instead they're just playing so, so carefully, trying to pick their, being in the offensive zone, but trying to be very, very in, uh, patient on which one they Ooh. select, disengaging from the needle, but you What catch! He's going <gasps> forward, gets the forward air, but gets the tech first! Another forward air, and the resources that... ally in just that bubble, but it's enough, <gasps> and the fourth match misses! Oh, it's getting messy. Yeah, 115 apiece at this point, and with the poison stacks climbing, the parry into a fully bubble! Oh no, not like this. Your friend betrays you. <laughs> All right, Lucius just gotta do it again. Yeah, do it. Oh, the movement stopped for single hit needle. Oh, gets another bubble hit though. That had no, very few stacks means he didn't have anything guaranteed. That parry, just a back air. Didn't have enough time for down strong. Tried to move in time, not enough. These hits are sending so far out from every interaction. The crowd's popping, something's gonna happen. Wow. And it's that back air! And the, the shake of the head in the player cam as well, just unable to uh, unable to survive at that point. As look how high dash attack sends up. 186, a great opportunity for Dorai to get some huge extra credit. That's exactly what he's managing to do. Unfortunately, he meets the end of back air, so only 59% built up onto Lucius. And that's percentage that could build itself up very easily for Rano. It's a oh misses the drop through plant fair, but that uh, that parry could be huge. It could result in a stock even. Good change. Oh, amazing change up on the part of Lucius. But is it enough? Seemingly right. so. Got caught up in the uh, in the hold of the uppy. 
Oh, fine. bubble pop. Just in time, too, before that got ruinous. Wow, the, just the that stall. Tongue. I don't even think he intended to hit with the tongue, but the stall of it mispositioned. Woo! The needles, and we see a stolen stock out of the forward air. Lucius rips away with the lead. The bubble movement has been so good from Lucius. It's a back, a miss, a line dash attack. Uh, uh, loses out on a stock potentially for Darai as he gets a tongue hit of his own. This is such a big opportunity here. Oh, but just misses that air dodge late. Was so good from Darai. The bubble, bubble protects! The, the bubble placement from Lucius has been insane. Not only using it as a feint, but in that case as a shield. It's not just a recovery tool, it is your best friend. It truly is a 2v1 in some situations. Lucius is so aware of that, and use of bubble has just been improving as the set's been going on. Oh, tough trade though. 66% on the part of Darai, but if there's anything we've seen in that set, in this set, it can fold and falter quickly careful oh, of your aggression though that mispositioning is so poor for lucius he's gonna take a ton of damage for this 46 and ha chooses to go off stage yet again just setting up for tongue mix up after tongue bubble on bubble the needles come out forward smash it to the bubble gonna up be high chooses to but the dive kick saves them Bouncing back and forth, dash attack into fair. Falls into the bubble with full stacks in order to set up a position. Another dive kick from Jump out was deep, used. But the check with the back air to keep the aggression in tow. A lot of single needles coming out. Lucius finds a, uh, finds a forward air. The percents are climbing high for Darai. He is, uh, his room for error is getting lower and lower by the minute. There it is, and forward, forward air. the check with the pop off. Side to side. And there it is. Oh my lord, Darai with his head in his hands, Lucius with the ridiculously uh, vehement pop-off as a, what was an exhausting ditto. Listen, Lucius is my boy, and with all due respect, he does not win those. Lucius is a player who, in spite of his skill, is so prone to cracking under pressure, but in this time, when the odds were stacked so high, he manages to close it out in such definitive fashion, from the percentage lead to the momentum oh, control, that's... down to the last button. This this is the killer. Like let's reset this video. Half speed, right here. Like, we see the the change up for the low recovery after the needle, and right here, after this wall jump. Let me answer by a couple frames. After this wall jump, he chooses to g try and maneuver his bubble. To, see, to spawn a bubble or to maneuver it where, uh, where it is. Since it's over here, over here, he has no protection. He has no shield. All he has is his up special left. But by choosing to do this, he sinks lower and is unable to make it back in a safe fashion. And has just one option that was covered by Lucius in just the right way with alternative forward air.